Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 165 of your student journal, 165, and we are going to continue adding. Today we are going to learn another strategy of how to add. So we've used the number line strategy, we've used the count on strategy, and today we're going to use another strategy called base 10 frames. Okay, so our objective today is, today I will use base 10 frames to find a sum. Now remember, boys and girls, we talked about that a sum is the answer to an addition problem. So we're still doing addition, and then this is our strategy, using base 10 frames. So let's look at our vocabulary. This is a base 10 frame. So if we count how many boxes there are, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's called a base 10 frame because there's 10 boxes. Okay, now in your problems, they're going to give them to you drawn, so you're not going to have to draw them. You're going to see, I'm going to have to draw them, but when you do your work, it's going to be drawn for you. Okay, let's look at our next word, an equation. A number sentence that shows equal values on both sides of an equal sign. So we've been writing an equation in most of our pages. I could say I have two apples plus one more apple means I have three apples. That is called an equation. That it's a number sentence and both sides of the equal sign are equal. So two plus one is three and then over here I have a three. So this is called an equation. Okay, we have something new called associative property. In our last few lessons we've had something called commutative property. Commutative property. This is a new property though, it's called associative property. I want you to say that with me. Associative property. And it says, a sum is the same regardless of the grouping of add-ins. Okay, so remember our add-ins are the numbers that we're adding together. So two plus one are our add-ins and three is our sum. So in the associative property, you can rearrange stuff and move stuff around. That's what you're going to see me do today when I do a problem for you. I'm gonna be moving stuff around. So they give us an example here, but I'm gonna have you wait to see how I do it. That's what the associative property means though, that we can move, move stuff around when we're adding. Okay, so boys and girls, I'm going to get started. If you wanna put your pencil down and watch me do my first problem. Here is my first problem and it says, use base 10 frames to decompose a number to make 10 and find the sum. Okay, so like I told you friends, they're going to give you base 10 frames, they just didn't give me base 10 frames. So they're going to give you them though. So I'm gonna to have to draw my base 10 frames and remember, it's a base 10 frame because it has 10 boxes. So I'm gonna draw them. Okay, those are my base 10 frames. Now, when I actually start my problem, okay, I have my two add-ins. Ready? So my add-ins are six and seven. Okay, so I'm today not only going to use red, but I'm going to use different colors as well. Okay, so I'm going to use a blue today and a red. Okay, so my first add-in is six. My first add-in is six. So in my first base 10, I'm going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my first add-in is six. Okay, my next add-in is seven. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so those are my add-ins. I'm going to be adding 
six plus seven. Okay, what they want me to do, friends, though, is they want me to fill up a base 10 frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some of these over here. I'm gonna, let me say that again, I'm gonna move some of these over here. Now I can't pick them up and move them, so I'm going to have to kind of cross them off and move them because they want me to fill up a base 10 frame. So now I have not a filled up base 10 and a not a filled up. They want me to fill them up. So I'm gonna cross this one off and bring it over there. I'm gonna cross this one off and bring it over there. I'm gonna cross that one off and bring it over there. And I'm gonna cross that one off and bring it over there. So my goal was to have a full base 10. So I have a full base 10 frame and then I have some others. So if this is 10, this is 10, then I can count the others. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13. These don't count anymore because I moved them. So let me say that again. I have 10 and then I have 11, 12, 13. So my answer is 13. And that's what the associative property says I can do. I can move stuff around. So my answer is 13. Okay, I'm gonna do another one of those friends. Okay, so here is my next one. My next one is eight plus six. So eight and six are my add-ins. And again, they want me to use base 10 frames, but they didn't give them to me. So I'm gonna have to draw them. So I'm gonna draw my base 10 frames. When you do your problems, they're going to give you your base 10 frames. So let me draw my base 10 frames. Okay, so my first add-in is eight. My first add-in is eight. So I'm gonna come over here and draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, my second add-in is six. So let's draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I drew my add-ins. Now they want me to try and fill up a base 10 frame. So I'm gonna take some of these and move them over here. So I'm gonna take this one and move it over here. I'm gonna take this one and move it over here. Okay, there's no more to move because this is full. So this base 10 frame is full. So this means I have 10. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And these don't count anymore. So my answer is 14 or my sum is 14. Okay friends, we're gonna try some of those together. So you might want to use two different colors like I used. So normally I ask you to use your pencil but you might wanna use two different crayons or two different markers. So if you wanna pause the video and find two different colored things to write with, that would probably be a good idea. So I used a blue and a red marker. You don't need to use a blue and a red marker, just have two different colors. I'm gonna actually use blue and green this time. So if you wanna use the same colors as me, you could use a blue and a green but find two different colors to use. Okay, all right, so we're gonna get started, friends. We're on page 166, on page 166. Okay, and our first add-in is seven. Our first add-in is seven. So they gave us a lot of base 10 blocks. We're not gonna use all of them, but in this first base 10 block, let's do seven, so ready? Let's count as we draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our first add-in was seven, so we put seven there. Okay, our second add-in is four. So in this base 10 block, let's do four. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, friends, so now that we drew our add-ins, our goal is to try and move them to fill up a base 10 block. So this base 10 block, we wanna fill up. 
So let's move some, let's move this one. Let's cross it off and bring it over here. Okay, let's cross this one off and bring it over here. Let's cross this one off and bring it over there. And now we have a full base 10 block. This is completely full, so we're not gonna bring any more over. So what do we have? We have 10, 11, that's it. And we don't count those, remember, because those are gone. So we have 10, and one more is 11. So our answer is 11. Okay, let's try another one of those. So let's turn the page, friends, to 167. Okay. And here is our next problem we're doing together. Nine plus three. So our add-ins are nine and three. Okay, so let's grab our first color. And we're gonna put nine here. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we put our first add in nine there. Our second add in is three. Okay, ready? So we're gonna say one, two, three. Okay, so now that we drew our add-ins, we wanna fill up a base 10 block. So this one, I'm sorry, a base 10 frame. So let's cross this one off and move it over there. Okay, so what do we have? We have one whole base 10 frame, so that means we have 10, 11, 12. So our answer is 12. Okay, boys and girls, when you do these on your own, try and use two different colors and make sure you're crossing them off when you're moving them over. Have a good day. Bye-bye.